I believe that we have to keep reminding ourselves that the the theme of the year which is the year of excellency is not just an ordinary theme not only do we have excellency as the theme but also 2020 is an excellent year. We are going to look into the word of God this morning and see how we can achieve excellency by the help of the Spirit of God. Daniel chapter number six, verse number three. Book of Daniel, chapter number six, verse three. The book of Daniel. Chapter 6, verse 3. Then this Daniel was preferred. Then this, this particular Daniel. There could be some other Daniels. But this one was preferred. Not because of the difference in the name not because of his height not because of his complexion but there was the reason behind his preference and this Daniel uh -huh, this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes so when a man is preferred above the presidents, suddenly, if you are an attentive reader of the word of God, a revelation has to hit your spirit immediately. If a man is preferred above the presidents, president, it means there is another office above the president. The office of the president cannot be the highest office. If a man is to be placed above such an office. That makes the office of the president an inferior office. Because another superior office has been created above the office of the president. So I, I'm saying this so that you can aim even higher because there is always a position above the position there is always a better place above a place promotion in your life is endless you are here today you are there tomorrow next week you are above that so God from today can elevate you and promote you on a daily basis. And he can never run out of offices and positions. As long as you can keep on qualifying yourself. 
Promotion is going to be a daily exercise. The man Daniel was preferred above the presidents. Now, what was the reason? Because an excellent spirit was in him. Because an excellent spirit was in his God. Him. There was an excellent spirit in his God. An excellent spirit was in who? Now, so you have a man here who just got promoted. And the word of God is so generous to give us the reasons behind the promotion. Not because the man has been to school. But the man managed to cultivate a certain level of spirituality. And he nurtured himself in a certain way. That made him not to attain heaven. An excellent spirit is not getting him into heaven. He's about to be promoted because of the nature of a spirit that was found, discovered, which means somebody with an ability to search out qualities of spirits. Daniel at some point was taken into the laboratory. And somebody had to diagnose his spirit and found out that there was a level of quality that deserves a better position above even the presidents. And promotion was as a result of the quality of the spirit of the man. A few of you that have understood me, you can sit down. Let, let, me, let me help the rest. Let me help the rest. Let me help the rest. <laughs> let me help the rest. <laughs> you see, excellency is going to be a product of an excellent spirit. Excellency is a product of an excellent spirit of an excellent spirit of an excellent spirit so if we say that excellency is a product of an excellent spirit it means that excellency is a product it can be produced Excellency. It's a product. It's a product. If excellency is a product, then there must be a producer of excellence. And the name of the producer is who? Who is the name of the producer? Me. Of excellency? Spirit. The excellent what? Spirit. Thank you. The excellent spirit which means the spirit is capable of producing excellency. Ah, ah. Okay. All right. Be seated. Be seated. And the man was preferred Above. Above. What does above mean? Huh? 
Is there any difference between above and below? Is it the same word? No. What is above? Hello? On top. Hello? On top. And in this case, it's above who? President. So a place for him because of an excellent spirit was found below. Above. Yes. So if he was placed above the presidents because of an excellent spirit, so then what qualified the presidents was a lesser spirit. No, you are not following this. I have to I have to work on this because some of you what you think is promotion is actually demotion. I don't want you to then insult God this year when he has promoted you above your friends and you still think they are above you simply because of the cars they drive. You have to understand what promotion really is. You can have somebody below you staying in a better house because promotion is by revelation okay. you want to have excellency who is going to produce that? The excellent spirit. So read, read on. This Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm the king sought to what set him over the whole realm okay let's look at proverbs 17 verse number 27 the book of proverbs chapter 17 verse 27 he that hath knowledge, he that hath knowledge, he that hath knowledge, he that hath knowledge, it means some people do not have knowledge, yet they are still people. Right? Uh -huh. Spareth his words. The one with knowledge will spare his words. Uh -huh. And a man of understanding. A man of what? Understanding. There is a man. Who is a man of understanding? There is a man and a woman of understanding. If you have such a man come to your service, you are the most blessed man of God. Having a man and a woman of understanding coming to sit under you as you minister, you are the most blessed man of God. Most men are men of something else. They don't come to the house of God for the sake of understanding. They come for something else. Men of God, hear me. When you stand before an audience, if God places one person 
among us those hundreds and thousands of people that are coming to your ministry and he comes and he's sitting there and his desire his only desire is understanding you are the most blessed man of God finding such a woman is a miracle you rarely get people who come to church for the sake of understanding they come looking for girls they come looking for business connections they come for the anointing for money but having a man come to your service in search of understanding you are blessed huh? a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit <laughs> Ah, my God. I'm helping you understand your disease. Your lack of desire for understanding it is, not it is not deliberate. You are sick. And your condition has not affected your flesh to begin with. It has affected your spirit. The reason why you do not desire understanding it is because your spirit has lacked one thing one quality which is excellency they say that excellency according to their dictionary definition is the quality of being outstanding it is the quality of being outstanding or to be extremely good ah. but when you study excellency from the biblical point of view it carries an extremely uh, huge definition as compared to the secular definition. When the Bible says that Daniel had an excellent spirit, the excellency of the spirit there is preeminence which means surpassing ha. surpassing being above and extremely beyond the ordinary why would God place such a spirit only in one man? Yet he is not a respecter of persons. Why would only one man get into God's office and comes out with that outstanding spirit? How about the rest of us? This makes me so jealous why only Daniel of all the men he doesn't have this spirit simply because he is a Jew because there were many Jews around without the same excellent spirit why him and him alone probably 
if you are to ask God, he will tell you that I didn't give it to him. Excellent as it is. When I gave all of you spirits, <laughs> those spirits were of the same quality. But of all the men, it was only this Daniel in particular who began to work out, who started exercising his spirit, nourishing his spirit, and perfecting his spirit. Until today, he gets promoted because of a quality spirit spirit that he never got from God in that state. But he developed his spirit from your level of spirituality. All of you here. He did something about the quality of his spirit which resulted in him getting promoted even physically. Ah! Uh, Ah, uh, be seated. Be seated. Read Proverbs again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 27. He that hath knowledge spareth his words. If you have knowledge, you spare your what? Words. Even what I'm Unes, saying now, it's not, everything, it's not everything that I've heard from God. What I'm t- teaching you today is not everything that I know. I'm still sparing some words because I'm a man of knowledge. Okay? I have to keep that information until I have the right person sitting next to me. So you have to work on your spirit qualifying yourself for certain information. It's not my fault. It is your fault. Your level of spirituality disqualifies you from certain, from certain information. Men of knowledge spareth his words. Uh, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. A man of understanding <laughs> is what? Is of an excellent spirit. <laughs> ha. A man of un- who is a man of understanding? That man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. So the man himself is a product. The man that you see who is of understanding he is of an ex- he was produced by an excellent spirit. When you talk to your man at home and you explain to him your concerns and your worries and your pain, when you look at him right in the eye, does he seem to be understanding what you are saying? The man is thinking of sometimes maybe agriculture, he's thinking of a gearbox, he's thinking of something else. When, when, when you talk to a man, the man that you, are, you, you got married to, yes, he is a man. But of what? Is he a man of understanding? Is he attentive? Do you think he's hearing what you're saying or you're just wasting your time? 
There are people like that. They are good at asking you questions. They are, they are not good at hearing you when you answer. Because asking questions sometimes it has now become like a couch. I've seen this several times. Where you have to want to chew up When you have kids coming to ask you how are you this Nobody li- ways to listen how you've woken up. They just pass by as they say so. But if you look and try to understand if they, one wants to understand how you are, they are just asking how are you. <laughs> if we tell you how we are, <laughs> Ah, our problem is you. You want to understand how we've slept today. Us now. To tell you that you've come here. You are with you. Ah. You are coming to ask us. Yet your blankets are wet. So I am saying this to help you understand that it is a blessed thing to have a man or a woman of understanding. A woman that when you speak she is listening. You need the person who hears you when you are speaking. And having such a person, that person is a product of an excellent spirit. This has nothing to do with her parents or his parents. The parents cannot produce that. A man of understanding is of an excellence. He is produced by an excellent spirit. Do you listen when the people that you love are talking? Understanding. Understanding. I want you to ask your neighbor. So, my friend, if you are not hearing what the prophet is saying, why, 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 why are you here? Why, why, why are you here? Ha! Because you came here with a cost. You paid a price for you to be here today. You could have been at home doing something else much better. But you can't afford to be sitting here for the next one hour, two hours, three hours and fail to understand what is taking place of all the things that I would want you to understand today understand this one thing that excellency is a product of an excellent spirit God gives you a theme. You are the first person that he is challenging. I want to see excellency taking place in my own personal life. It's not just for you. It's also for me. It takes labor to produce excellence. My God. 
My God. There are times when you're tired and you get home you remove your shoes this other shoe is facing that direction the other one is facing the north and then you drop your jacket somewhere and then you drop your trousers and there is chaos all over the place and somebody if he comes in he thinks maybe rapture has taken place that is very chaotic Order is very painful. Order is very stressful. But this year we have to be deliberate. I want to be excellent in the way that I do things. You know what? If you don't perfect your dwelling place, even when God begins to communicate with you information to you will come in that same manner chaotic information confusing information you know sometimes what we call nightmares it's failure to understand your spiritual experiences. I don't want to get into that. Be seated. So read Proverbs, Proverbs again. Chapter 17, mm-hmm. verse 27. Yes, 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 yes. Read it. Uh-huh. He that hath knowledge spareth his words. Uh-huh. And a man of understanding mm. is of an excellent spirit. A man of understanding is of an excellent Murume spirit. Wezi, wezi, wezi. A man of understanding is of chivu. Murume an wezi. excellent he, he, spirit. He's of, of Mashingo. An excellent oh, spirit. He's of, he's of the, 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 the British race or maybe from the whites. He's, he's of a Chinese race. An Murume excellent Chinese. spirit. A man of understanding is a product of what? An Rume excellent spirit. spirit. So what produces a man of understanding? An excellent spirit. So the man that you see that has come here that is wearing a suit and a tie was Rume produced Rume by the spirit. You are a product of your spirit. Physically. You are a product of your spirit. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. That's the Bible. Can I explain further? Can I explain further? Can I explain further? The Bible is not saying the way you are gives you a certain way of thinking. It's not saying the way you are gives you a way of thinking. It's saying as a man thinketh, so is he. You are a product of your thinking. You are not thinking the way you are thinking because of who you are. You were made by your thinking. So you are migrating from a thought you are a product of an idea. You were produced by a, a, an idea. You, you, you were like a mindset. As a man thinketh, so is he. But you 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 are some who say, I think this way because of the way that I brought the way he speaks negatively is their background of growing up. The anger is because of the way they grew up. Can you see the starting point? They are thinking this way because they were brought up this way. Yet the Bible is saying you were brought up this way because of the way How did I think before I was born? I was, I was brought up. If people have the ability to produce you 
you have more responsibility in producing yourself. You can pro- reproduce yourself. If you are behaving the way you are behaving because of the way that you have been brought up, you can then start bringing yourself up in a different way. In the way of the Lord. You wanted to be loved as you were growing up. Nani? By who? You are blaming the people who did not love you growing up. Yet these same people, if you were to go deeper into their spirits, they had problems in loving themselves. So should they start with you? Who are you? Stop blaming those people. Start blaming yourself for not loving yourself. Bring yourself in the way that you like. As a man thinketh, so is he. So it is not what you are that gives you a mentality. It is a mentality that makes you who you are. You move from thought processes into becoming. You are a reality of your reasoning and of your thinking and of your thoughts. The problem with having an... Okay, sit down. Look at this. Look at this. They said... We were like grasshoppers in their side. These were spies, qualified spies, more intelligent than the CIA. Because these ones had an excellent spirit from above. They sneaked into the country, spied out the country, and they were never discovered that they, they were present. Yet, upon coming back, they said, in their eyes, we were like grasshoppers. In whose eyes? No one saw them. Yet, coming back, they are giving a report that in their eyes we were like grasshoppers. You see? The way that you think they see you in actual fact that's the way that you see yourself. No one has ever called you a grasshopper. You are calling yourself a grasshopper. So sometimes the way you view yourself, you think that's the way that other people sees you. These spies were liars. No one ever saw them. As a man thinketh, in his heart so is he <laughs> be seated you know if you, if you have a life partner who has a problem of uh, low self-esteem who always looks down upon himself you have a bigger miracle to perform there are two extremes some people they overestimate themselves yes yes Yes. The Bible says a man ought to think of himself as he ought to. Not highly, but as he ought to. And he says, be very, very careful that you put yourself in a category 
that you belong to. But you know, it is easier bringing a man down than raising a man up. When your wife thinks that she is inferior, it will take you decades. And by the time you become successful in raising her up, in the heavenly records, you'll find out that you have raised the dead. It will be recorded in the heavens that you once raised a dead woman. It's so hard raising an individual from inferiority complex. Somebody who believes that she is a nobody. She is so hard to raise. So hard to raise. So that's why sometimes when you look at your wife at home, and you rape your husband, your wife hands around her, whatever you tell her, if she has this disease, for the next 30 minutes that you're explaining to her, she thinks you're up to something. She thinks you're lying. She doesn't believe every word that you're saying. Why? Because she's under attack. Her ego has been destroyed. She's a product of her thinking. She is a product of an inferior spirit. There is no excellency in the spirit. There can't be any excellence outward. So before you deal with the outward appearance, you have to deal with the inward man. The spirit of the man. A man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Now Daniel, because you Daniel was preferred above the presidents. Why? Because the king. What makes a king a king? It is because their reasoning is above the reasoning of the presidents. That is why our Jesus is not the president of the presidents. He is the king of kings. He doesn't think like a president. He is above presidents. So what made the king to discover a spirit in a man. Yet the king was not a prophet to prophesy the level of spirituality of Daniel. Of the Daniel. Because it is within the nature of kings to discern spirits. That is why he wants you not just to be a priest but also to be a king. He has presented us before God to become priests and kings. We reign in the kingdom of God not as priests. Priests don't reign. You reign as kings in the kingdom of God. So if you are going to have a king in your life, then the king, the day that you present yourself before a king, the king will have an ability to discern your spirit and then find out that you have an excellent spirit. And he looks for a better position because he wants to allocate a position not to a man 
kwete kumurume but to a spirit asikumweya there is always a better position for a spirit kunogara kuine nzvimbo iri nani womweya yomweya outside there kunze you think all the positions are gone munofungidzira kuti nzvimbo dzese dzakaenda think again fungai zvekare there is always a vacancy kunogara kuine mukana there is always enough space kunogara kuine nzvimbo yakakwana for an excellent spirit yomweya wemhando yepamsoro Hmm? So if you look at your prophet, I am standing here. And you think from prophet, going down, down up to the Sunday school department. You think every position is occupied. It's because you are blind. There is always space. Kunogara kuine mikana closer to the men of god but the space has to be occupied not by an individual that space is waiting for an excellent spirit i'm throwing in a challenge today and from the day that the ministry this ministry was conceived the day the ministry was birthed until this sunday our first sunday in 2020 i am still searching for an excellent spirit I'm searching. I'm searching. Now what you're going to realize in life is that you are never going to become excellent in every aspect. Ah. Do you know in the secular world they have a term that they call Staffing your weaknesses. When, when you staff your weaknesses, they're talking about when you're running an organization. You have to discover your weaknesses and accept that you are weak in those areas. And you hire people, that's the staffing that I'm talking You hire people to compensate your inabilities. And they come because you are never going to be doing everything. Maybe the best you can do is to put on a nice suit, but you can't wash it. The best you can do probably is to drive a nice car, but you can't fix it when it's broken. So stop focusing on just your weaknesses because you are never going to become excellent this year in every aspect. You have to identify a location, a specific area that you are going to deliberately master and say, I want to become a guru, an expert, a master in this area. Hmm. Ay, 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 ay. I know what I'm not good at. I know what I'm not good at. You see all these people that are dressed well. Kuvuma. It's acceptance. You see these people. It's not a mystery, neither is it a prophecy. Weakness. It's calling upon stuffing your weakness. So the ministry is from the beginning of the ministry, I don't know that the prophet is not a threat. They actually know that the prophet is a threat. It's acceptance. Do you think I didn't buy a keyboard myself? I went there myself. I bought it. Not sending anybody. I bought it. 
pa hard sounds apa wachiri pa gidia wa menu hard sounds when they were still in town ndika no choose anyita ndi soda zvakutengerwa ndozotengerwa zvinhu zvina uchungwa zvaka ndakatenga ndega i bought myself and i chose myself because i didn't want anybody to ndika ina nayo kumba and i took it home ndika connect pa magets and i put it i connected it onto electricity ndika ita on put it on naro vakasvika pakumbira mai hava kuti zvokumbira kurara wife came to a point where she said please can i sleep no wanda ta no ichino ndesa chikibhodi zvima key zvakawanda ndoda cheche chino chino play wa chibhosho cheche i said no no the keyboard is giving me problem Let me try Don't something else. Don't sing it. It's my birthday, man. I just enjoy it. Another birthday. It was shining. Shagawa ya chichi pe ni ache gorid. It was shining, a gold one. Ah. Hey. Pastor kufa kumbu tengiro wa foot. Pastor kufa. It was bought for him as well. Ha! You fool it. How dare you so? Blowing it like this. Dikata. Ishi shini. Shini pa. Shini pa. Shini pa. Shini pa. Shini pa. Jesus. This thing I think this the passage is, is blocking someone. Ugashora chichiridzwa no anogona hapa unoti vakoma. When you see these guys playing at the experts in that area. She try on. Try it yourself. Kasabandwa nomusoro. If you don't have a headache, mwari vanewe. God is with you. Achiriri. It doesn't sound. Zvese zvakarongedzwa pana chiri kurira. Everything was placed there. Ufona kudzoka ovhuma kuti aiwas You must agree. That. What is my problem even when I preach people are coming. So what is my problem? <laughs> Discover your areas of strength. Focus on that, concentrate on that. This year you are not going to be making money from everywhere. Discover one primary source. And you say I'm going to perfect this stream this avenue of income. And by this I'm going to become an established millionaire. Be seated. Who do you want to become? Unoda kuzovei. You want to become a champion? Uda kuva mukundi. In what area? Munzvimbo ipi. That's when you begin to then say, okay? Ndo pa unotanga kutaura kuti hongu. How do I move from here? This is where I was last year. And 2020 I'm still there. How do I move from here? What am I going to be known for? creating problems or solving them then you say i want to be known for solving them and from there you move on to solving what problems exactly because you are never going to solve every problem you are not going to get in yourself involved in the problems taking place in iraq you have enough baghdad in your house so you have to choose I want to solve problems and not to create them. But you have to name the problem. This is going to help some of you what I'm saying. 
Let me deliver you from a delivery that is never coming. You heard me? I said, let me deliver you from a delivery that is never coming. What I mean by that is that you are waiting for something to be delivered. You are waiting for God to give you something. Something that God is never going to give you because he has given you already. Now let me help you so that you don't waste your time again this year. Know the things that God has already done. Things that God is never going to repeat because God is not a time waster. You can't get him to do what he has done already. So any prayer in trying to persuade God into doing something that he has already done is never going to be fruitful. So what do I mean by that? Majority of you people here you are believing God for an excellent idea. You think that God <laughs> there, are, there are people like that. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me help, let me help my sisters here and my brothers. Here you are okay. Let me help. Let me help. This is a problem that has seen many of you people Getting into hundreds of years without any significant achievement. Except achieving the years. This is the reason. Something keeps on telling you that there must be a very unique idea floating somewhere in the atmosphere. A business idea. You are hoping that one day God is going to drop an idea, a unique one. But let me help you understand something. Do you think they are ever again going to invent a plane? To invent a plane. All they are doing is perfecting an idea, moving into excellence. Because once the idea is dropped, it awaits a developer. Somebody who can pick on the same. You have a friend who is into a business. But what your friend is lacking is an excellent spirit and that's what you have. Stop asking God for another new idea. You need to begin to perfect that old idea that God has given you, shift it and move it into perfection, into excellence. You think they will invent cars? No. They are simply improving. What you see is an improvement on that old idea. Huh? You think the prophetic is going to fall afresh? Men of God are praying, oh, there is a coming revival of the great power of God that is coming. Nothing like that is coming. God has dropped a prophetic idea and it is up to the prophets to begin to perfect move the prophetic into excellence 